welcome all to the top two faculties of each of the 19 subjects for NEET PG, INICT and FMG exam. Now you can ask me why is it necessary to know the top faculties of each subject? There are apps, right? So subscription to only one app suffices them all. One source is the best source. But in this, I would like to say that if you learn from the best faculties, they would make you understand the subject and the concepts in an easier way that would result in easier learning. And they also share tips and tricks to memorize them. And that might eventually lead to a better rank in NEET PG exam. I personally followed the approach of learn from the best. So I followed one subject, one source and I learned from the best faculties and I got two gold medals, three silver medals and an all India rank of 29 in NEET PG 2023. So if you have the financial liberty to learn from the best faculties, I would say don't miss that. So let's start the video and let's know who are the top faculties. Let's start with the first year subjects. First subject, anatomy. So according to me, in anatomy, Ashwini sir is the best. His diagrams are very much simplistic like the nerve diagrams, the schematic diagrams he gives is very much simplistic and his notes are crisp and concise. I follow Dr. Ashwini sir only. After that, number two comes is Dr. Rajesh Koshal sir. So Rajesh Koshal sir is a good alternative for Ashwini sir. I studied embryology parts from Rajesh Koshal sir and his diagrams are also very much excellent. Coming to the next subject that is physiology. For physiology, according to me, the best faculty is Dr. Ashish of Bhatia Institute because his sense of humor is great. And in live classes, with his sense of humor, he used to make us memorize the concepts and his notes are also very much crisp. After that is Dr. Shoman Manna and his book on physiology is a top seller. Number three subject that is biochemistry. Many of you have difficulty in understanding biochemistry. So the best faculty that I have come to know from my juniors is Dr. Jambulkar sir. I didn't uh, have my coaching from him but I have heard from the juniors that he teaches really great and I got my notes from Dr. Smiley Pruthi ma'am. Her notes is also very much crisp and concise and very much high yielding and the strike rate is also very much high. Coming to the second year subjects. In Pharma, the best faculty without any doubt is Dr. Gobind Rai Garg sir. His notes are very much high strike rate ones, okay. And the memorizing tips and tricks he gives is the gold standard. Like the anti-cancer drug, how to remember the side effects by a simple diagram. That was also really great. After that, if you want an alternative, that is Dr. Ranjan Patel of Marrow. Okay, he also teaches and clears the concept very well. After that is microbiology. So in microbiology, Currently, the best faculty is Dr. Nasir. After that is Dr. Preeti ma'am and she also gives some memorizing tips and tricks to memorize the stuff. In pathology, if you ask me, I follow Dr. Praveen sir and I feel he is the gold standard. He completed from Ames New Delhi and he also gives some certain memorizing tips and tricks and he clears the concepts very well. And if you want alternative, then there is Dr. Preeti ma'am. I haven't done from her, but I have seen her lectures. They are really great. Now, forensic medicine, without any doubt, Dr. Jake Magendran is the best faculty for forensic medicine. If you see his forensic medicine review book also, it is this much thin. Okay, it is this much thin, but the diagrams and the explanations it contains Studying that book, I stood second in the gold medal exam also of forensic medicine. Only these few pages. After that, if you want alternative, then there is Dr. Akhilesh Shar, uh, for forensic medicine. Coming to the third year subjects for PSM, which is one of the most feared topics 
for the neat pg aspirants according to me this is an unpopular opinion but uh, dr siddharth's classes of dams i found it very much helpful especially for the inict patterns and after that is dr vivek jain he is all time favorite faculties of all students coming to i uh, according to me it is dr utsav bansal because i felt it connecting with him and his book the soch is also one of the best sellers in alternative or in rank 2 i would say that is dr niha agarwal of dbmci in case of ent i would keep dr manisha budhiraja of marrow at the first because she teaches very well means for a third prop part 1 perspective she is the best teacher she repeats same topics and she imbibes the whole topic and the concept in your mind after that if you ask for revision purpose best is dr rajiv dhawan i did his like class also and within 50 to 60 papers booklet he covered the whole of ent coming to the major subjects of final year in case of medicine i would always keep at the top dr marwa sir he integrates everything very much judiciously and he literally integrates even the forensic with the medicine and his way of making you understand the ecg and cardiology part is exceptional and in number 2 i would keep thamim sir actually i didn't get the teaching of dr uh, rakesh sir many people like dr rakesh sir but i couldn't connect to him that much coming to obgy according to me the best faculty is dr sakshi harora hans because she repeats and repeats and makes you memorize the topics she goes in depth and takes time in making the concepts so for concepts sakshi ma'am is the best and after that i would say dr deepthi ma'am uh, of dams because her notes is very much crisp in uh, dbt i did so her notes in the dbt was very much crisp concise and high yielding in case of pediatrics first i would give to dr minakshi ma'am because by studying only her notes not even any book i got the silver medal in pediatrics so her notes is very much high yielding and her notes contains all the possible mcqs also and the possible questions that you are going to get in the prof exam after that if you ask dr sandeep sir is the second best according to me of doc tutorials coming to surgery so here i would keep dr rohan sir in the first because his notes is the gold standard maybe some other faculties may teach in a better way but his notes is the gold standard and studying his notes only i got the gold medal in surgery and i got the interest in studying surgery i had tagged sir also after getting the gold medal so his notes is the gold standard i can't see any question coming out of his notes in the pg entrance exam also and after that if you ask is dr pritesh singh he is also very much extensive but his way of teaching is a bit better and some people also say that dr jay arora sir teaches a bit better but i haven't experienced that so if you have then do let me know in the comment section below coming to the short subjects the one of the most high yielding subjects anesthesia in anesthesia i did from dr swati ma'am and her way of making things understand her way of teaching was better than that of chaitanya sir of marrow to orthopedics here there is a bit controversy and a bit of gray zone also because i feel that uh, possibly there could be better faculties than them maybe because the subject is more of memorizing so i find it a bit dry and want some faculty to be more uh, means giving more masala into it so according to me uh, i felt dr tushar mehta sir was the best uh, for orthopedics of tams because i attended his live classes and now the teaching uh, of dr abbas ali has also improved a lot means in the videos he is taking more time to make things understand so i am keeping him number second i haven't watch all of his main videos now so 
maybe he could be in the first also because now Mero has become more comprehensive. Coming to Dharma, Dharma, as I have got information that Dr. Saurabh Jindal of DBMSI is the best faculty currently, but I did from uh, Dr. Manish Soni sir. So his notes and way of teaching is also very much good. And all the questions in NEET PG were from his notes only. Coming to psychiatry, in psychiatry, I feel Dr. Sachin Arura sir is a bit better um, of times because he makes witty comments also and he makes you things memorize by certain flow charts, uh, the thought disorder flow chart. Those are very much helpful and he can tackle the controversial questions also. After that is Dr. Praveen Tripathi of Cerebellum. So he also makes you uh, understand the concept in a very simplified manner. Coming to the top subject that is the radiology. In radiology, there are many top faculties. I would like to mention Dr. Zanam in the first and Dr. Nikita in the second. Though I had also done my main notes from uh, Max sir. His animations were great which helps in understanding the mechanism of action of the MRI, the CT scan, the X-ray cathode and all. But those questions are a bit not asked nowadays. So in the top Dr. Zainab ma'am and Dr. Nikita ma'am. Coming to all subjects, all 19 subjects combined, best is Dr. Zainab ma'am's BTR. After that is Dr. Nikita ma'am's Medsynapse. One thing that you should remember is that the key point is one subject, one source. Do not overload yourself with too much resources. And if you are not following any of these faculties of any subject, then don't panic. Just believe in your resource, okay? The believe in your resource is a must. Sub faculties only PC padate hain, okay? The subject matter is 1920 only. So the subject matter may sada kuch changes nahi aenge. So always believe your source. So I hope you liked the video and if you have any other suggestions that you think that these are the top faculties then do let me know in the comment section below and we are very close to hit 20k subscribers so do consider subscribing to my channel and if you are a neat PG aspirants then two videos are popping up go watch them now.